Neighbor Island officials are concerned as cases there of COVID continue to rise. Here's what you need to know if you live or plan to travel to the neighbor islands. Jen Boniza reports. The situation on the neighbor islands is dire. Maui County Mayor is pleading with people to voluntarily stay home. Mayor is asking residents and visitors to Maui County to voluntarily curb non-essential activities and gatherings for 21 days. He also wants employers to reinstate work from home during that time. And he's urging visitors to stay on hotel properties. To all of our visitors, our residents need your help as well in controlling the spread within our community and reducing the strain on our hospitals. Maui's seen 85 average daily cases in the last two weeks with a 7.4% positivity rate. Hawaii Island Mayor Mitch Roth wants to crack down on beach gatherings to slow the spread of COVID. We're looking at uh, taking away the abilities to have tents and, and other things to hang out under and then making sure that the group sizes are less than 10. He's also looking at an easier way of post-arrival testing, like what's being done in other areas. They're giving test kits to their passengers. You know, they self-test, send them in by mail. Roth wants to beef up enforcement to ensure people are following the rules. Big Island continues to get hammered by Delta. They've seen an average of 128 new cases a day in the past two weeks, with an 8.4% positivity rate. Ross says hospitals are overwhelmed and something has to give. We know that this is something that we can conquer. We just have to act responsibly. Kauai's also seen an uptick in cases, but not as bad as other counties. They've had an average 25 new cases daily over a two-week period. Their positivity rate, 4.8%. Mayor Kawakami isn't asking for more restrictions yet. He's giving his community the chance to step up. We should not need government restrictions by now um, if we can all pull together. And the reason why we're going this route is Koi has done it before. Gatherings are currently limited to 10 indoors and 25 outdoors in every county. Restaurant capacity should not exceed 50% and guests must remain six feet apart. Trans-Pacific travelers have to show proof of vaccination or have a negative COVID test taken 72 hours prior to arriving in Hawaii to avoid quarantine. There are currently no restrictions or requirements for travel between the islands. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.